माई नेम इज संधि भाटिया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट राजकुमार गोयल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी गाजियाबाद सो इन अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स डिलीविंग फॉर अ सब्जेक्ट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड बैडिट सिस्टम्स डिजाइन हैविंग कोड के ई सी जीरो सिक्स वन वट वी हैव कवर्ड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर थ्री यूनिट्स एंड द एंड द प्रीवियस लेक्चर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड वी हैव सीन डैट यूनिट नंबर फोर इज ऑल अबाउट द इंटरनेट ऑफ things so in the previous lecture we have covered the some basics of iot what are the various building blocks of iot and uh, we have seen the typical iot components and the uh, various applications of iot so in this lecture we will see some more detailed explanation of iot so four unit is introduction to iot and uh, here we will see the evolution and main technologies of iot so these are the table of contents we will cover in uh, this lecture uh internet of things we will more uh, getting the data about the internet of things out loud the outline the evolution of iot we will see here the history of iot how it will discovered uh, in which year how iot works we will see the working principle of iot how the iot devices work after that we will see the uh, main technologies that enable iot so in iot in we are uh, we can use various types of technology we will see here in this topic after that we will see about the protocols and standards which can use in our iot device so these are the table of contents we can use in our iot system we will cover in today lecture so uh, what is internet of things in the previous lecture we we have seen that iot is basically a internet of things um it means that it is basically a uh, connection of uh, physical objects objects uh, is a uh, things so numerous types of various types of devices are connected with each other through the internet they are uh, capable to uh, exchange data communicate with each other by using the uh, network okay so there is a networking between all the devices so basically iot is a dynamic global network infrastructure of physical and virtual objects and have unique identities that means that all the uh, things which are connected to the iot has a unique identification why it is unique identification uh, because uh, one device there are uh, numerous devices if there is no uh, unique identification how that one thing can be uh, uh, connect with another thing and how we can able to identify the particular device that's that's why each device has a unique identification has sep uh, 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 we can say that has separate identity okay which are embedded with software we can use the uh, software sensors actuators electronic and network connectivity to facilitate intelligent applications why intelligent applications because all the devices which are connected to the iot are intelligent they are capable to take self decisions okay and by collecting and exchanging data so from here we can say that uh, sensors uh, connectivity people and process as we have seen in the previous lectures are the key elements of any iot system so we have taken some uh, definition from the internet uh, iot definition by the itu gartner definition uh, so uh, the internet of thing is basically a global infra infrastructure for the information society enabling advanced services by interconnecting physical and virtual things based on existing and evolving interoperable information and communication technology so basically in iot it is a global infrastructure it is used worldwide so it is basically a world in which we are using uh, many types of devices all are using sub technologies here the internet of things is the network of physical objects we have seen in the uh, uh, in the previous lecture that it is basically a network of physical objects it's objects that can be physically recognized that is uh, some deploy or implemented in the environment okay by using some hardware that contain embedded technologies to communicate communication um, uh, among the devices uh, through some connectivity techniques like wireless techniques and sense or interact with their states or the external environment that is a gartner definition so there are various types of uh, iot uh, definitions someone some people say that uh, iot uh, uh, internet of things some say that it is basically a internet of robotic things some date uh, some say that it is basically a internet of drone things internet of embedded things internet of all because it is used in everywhere internet of uh we can say that uh internet iot iomt internet of medical things okay so there are various types of definitions 
full forms etc. So, but basically IoT is that all the devices are connected through the internet that is IoT okay? that is a one lamp definition. So, let us uh, uh, in this slide we will see the history of IoT history uh, means uh, uh, evolution of IoT. So, evolution of IoT outline the evolution of IoT evolution means that the concept of IoT is first became popular in 1999 uh, invented by Kevin Aston. So, the uh, term IoT is first coined by Kevin Aston in the year 1999 through the AutoCAD center at MIT. Uh, and related market analysis publication. So, Kevin Estin uh, uh, first uh, coined the term of IoT. Okay. After that, there are what uh, there uh, there is has been a various types of definitions, but first Kevin Estin proposed this IoT term. Radio frequency RFID was seen as a prerequisite for the IoT at that point. Okay. RFID RFID is the main uh, technology enabling IoT. Okay. So. Here you, uh, you can see in this diagram, uh, we are evoluting from the pre-internet to the internet of things. So, pre-internet means that human are connected to the human from some mobile phones uh, in the uh, 30 or 40 years back you can see there uh, large number uh, large size of mobile phones. We can send SMS uh, basically calls. Okay? So, human to human connection in between through the internet. After the internet of content that is introduction of uh, internet only not things World Wide web was there we can uh, chat with each other entertainment we can watch movie in the uh, World Wide web uh, net email we can do information can be transmitted so here the smart networks are added plus smart network yani ki human that means human to human that are interacted we are uh, adding the smart networks here after that internet of services we are using for e-commerce application e-productivity web 2.0 we are uh, adding the smart uh, networks plus IT platforms here. After that we are again adding the smartphones and applications that evaluated from internet of service to uh, services to internet of people that is uh, internet of people that is people are connecting with another through Skype, Facebook, YouTube, uh, WhatsApp we are using right now that means plus smartphones and application smartphones are coming smartphone means that phones which is capable to uh, do more functionalities in addition to the calling and the messaging and so uh, after that internet of from internet of people internet of people means people are connected with another people we have replaced uh, human to human with the machine to machine that is things are connected with the another things through the internet that is internet of things so that is basically machine to machine communication so iot can be used in identification tracking metering monitoring semantically structured and share so what we are doing here uh, we are uh, smartphones are converted into a smart devices and finally we can use from data analytics and various applications so this uh, basically uh, this is the history we will go uh, more into the history of the iot the first telemetry system was rolled down in chicago way back in 1912 so in 1912 first telemetry system were uh, uh, proposed so after at that time it is said to have used telephone lines we have used telephone lines to monitor data from power plants from, uh, from power plants we can deploy telephone lines to communicate so we are using only telephone lines as we have seen in the previous slide telemetry telemetry means long distance communication expanded to weather monitoring in the 1930s 30s uh, in we have used a telemetry to get the uh, to track about the weather con uh, conditions when a device known as a radio sound radio sound is basically a device which is uh, used to uh, in the environment in the uh, balloon so that it can track the uh, environmental uh, weather monitoring it is basically used for weather monitoring environmental data we are getting through radio sound and it is became widely used to monitor weather conditioning from uh, condition from balloons after that in 1950s 57 after 27 years here it is 28 years and uh, uh, 18 years and after 28 years the Soviet Union launched Sputnik and with this space range uh, the Soviet Union uh, launched Sputnik in the environment in the space it uh, so they are communicating with the earth this has been the entry of aerospace aerospace means we are uh, using uh, the space technology we are in, that means the earth is connected to the satellite that means the aerospace 
so telemetry telemetry means we are connected with the satellite two way communication created the basis over basis over global com, uh, satellite communication today so broad adoption of m to m technology began in the 1980s in 1980s m to m technology has been uh, uh, emerged out so with wired connections for scada scada means that supervisory control and data acquisition scada is used in the plc devices for the uh, data analytics purpose okay control and data acquisition on the factory floor and in home and business security system so these are the this is the history from the 1912 to right now in 2022 uh, we are using the millions of devices are connected with each other in even in satellite through uh, so we are connected our devices okay so that's why we are able to watch the various types of channels dbs direct broadcasting satellite is example of this gps uh, through gps we can track any uh, vehicular movement we can uh, say, uh, say that we can observe the distance between the two devices okay so right now we are using various technology so the first uh, we have seen this slide so in the 1990s we have seen that in the previous 1980s after 1980s 1990 10 years after m2m began moving towards wireless technology we are we have evolved from m2m uh, from wired network to the wireless network so adamco built their own private radio network to address intrusion and smoke detection because budding cellular uh, connectivity was too expensive after 5 years in the year of 1995 here siemens introduced the first cellular mo module built for m2m and we have seen that in 1999 kevin aston first coined the term internet of things so concept of internet of things came into the india of 1999 before they are we are using m2m but they are not connected through the internet okay through so rfid was seen as a prerequisite for the iot at that point if all objects and people in daily life were equipped with identifiers computers could manage and inventory them so we are using many types of objects uh, and uh, uh, m2m communication with things are uh, connected with the things things are connected to the people through the uh, network there is network between the devices so beside uh, besides using rfid rfid is, uh, was using in the iot the tagging of things tag means the things which we can tag in the iot system uh may, may be achieved through such technology as near field communication nfc nfc uh, through nfc we are uh, like card we are using in atm machines uh, we can uh, uh, we can tag the uh, we can use barcode reader to uh, for a uh, to scan qr codes in uh, today life you can see uh, the paytms or uh, phone pay we are uh, we can uh, use for e-commerce purpose we can uh, uh, we can pay amount to another by using the scan techniques that is the par codes we are uh, scanning uh, so uh, there is a scan means we are all uh, uh, we are using the upi id okay so all are uh, possible through the iot bluetooth technology we are using it digital water marking we are using all our devices using the iot okay so uh, we can see how iot works iot the internet of things also sometime refer to as the internet of everything we can see in the previous slide that iot also say uh, we can call iot as a internet of everything why internet of everything because everything each many devices each and everything we can connect to the internet that becomes the internet of things consist of all the vulnerable devices that collect that is able to collect and send and act on the data we can collect the data we can communicate the data through wireless and we can act on the data means we can do anal data analytics techniques we can uh, collect useful information we can extract useful information from the data we have collected from the sensors and they acquire from their surrounding environment using embedded sensor processors and communication hardware okay so these devices devices means objects we are talking about objects things of we are talking about in iot internet of things often called connected or smart devices why it is called smart devices they are uh, capable to uh, send a data uh, whenever needed by the human being okay so it can sometimes talk to other related devices a process called machine to machine communication so we can in a three words we can say that iot is basically a machine to machine communication machine like uh, our smartphones our washing machine our uh, microwave oven all are smart enough and all are objects or things which are connected to the 
wirelessly to the uh, the uh, uh, machine which is has some remote location okay so humans can interact with the gadgets to set them give them instructions or access the data but the devices do most of the work on their own without a inter human intervention so what is going over here all, all the devices are capable to connect with the uh, other devices without human intervention there is no, no, no role of human there is only a hardware which can be uh, through some software we are uh, enabling that hardware and uh, through this hardware uh, and some uh, in hardware there may be a processor there is uh, some wireless techniques all one machine is connected to the another machine so their this their existence has been made possible by all the teeny mobile components so that are available these days as well as the always online nature of home and business networks okay so this is the working of iot how the iot devices work okay so now the question is what are the main technologies that is used in our iot that can enable iot system first first one is the mobile computing second one is the little devices and little data standards that enable internet scale like with wi-fi these are the standardized network 3g right now uh, we are going for a uh, 5g we are using 4g but uh, soon we are will go towards the 5g technology lt long term evaluation Bluetooth, smart browsers, JavaScript, HTTP, TLX, etc. Web and community based development like ecosystem enabled by trust, for example, embed HTML. Let us, uh, uh, we are going to the uh, detail of these all these mobile computing. Basically, mobile computing means the device, uh, mobile computing means we are uh, using the smartphone here, smart tablets here, all are. Uh, are low power devices and we can do many tasks through the smartphones. We can control our home electricity, home appliances by using the smartphones. Little devices and little data, what means? Devices are little means we are min miniaturization the things. The things are becoming uh, small and small day by day, cost is low, power consumption is low and fun functionality will be more. And we can send little data and uh, embedded devices for example wearable sensors standards we are using uh, that technology in iot like wi-fi from uh, wireless fidelity network we are using the wi-fi devices in our home in uh, to uh, connect with the routers to for surfing purpose 3g uh, okay lt long term evaluation it is we can say that we are using the volte v what is vo voice over uh, long term evolution we can send a in net uh, we can s also uh, using uh, the uh, we can uh, do video calls how we video calls can be carried out through this is using uh, by using the volte volte uh, the type of technology we are using right now and uh, L, uh, bluetooth uh, bluetooth low energy smart browsers we can use the various types of browser like chrome etc javascript http hypertext transfer protocol through which we can uh, serve the devices we can open the web browsers tls tls means transport layer security it is basically a protocol standards through which we can connect the one device to the another tls or we can say it is uh, there is some uh, another term ssl ssl means security socket security layer so tls ssl these type of protocols we are using to send the data to communicate that uh, our hardware with the remote servers okay so th there should be some protocol standards without standards uh, ev uh, one can uh, prepare one can do hardware one can uh, collect data uh, with any from anywhere so there should be some protocol so that effective communication can be done between the devices web and community based development ecosystems uh, embed embed basically a open source software which is used in arm processor okay html5 all are using these are the technology that we using in our iot devices here you can see that mobile computing mobile uh, computing means we are in mobile phone we are using the arm cortex board processor here you can see that when you are switch on the mobile you can see this picture it is basically we are activating uh, activating the processor here we are using arm cortex a a means application processors so here we can use ios ios is used in apple devices apple mobile phones android is used in our uh, mobile phone that is other than the apple devices here we are using the various types of devices 3g jigbee lt bluetooth bluetooth low energy wi-fi 
lora when we can also use uh, long range wide area network wide area network okay so all are uh, connecting uh, with the devices these are the wireless technologies okay so they are using some protocols ieee 802.15.4 ieee means international uh, electronic standards electrical and electronics association so we are using some standards here 802.15.4 these are the standards which is acceptable globally so if any company in india and any company in usa all are uh, prepared these types of uh, bluetooth uh, these types of wireless devices by using these types of protocols these are the fixed protocols this is globally acceptable without following these protocols you uh, i am taking some example in uh, laptops we are using the usb port if uh, we are using some standards and protocol to prepare that usb port so if we are purchasing laptop in india and in uh, usa uh, if the usb devices is uh, manufactured by using some protocols so the devices we are using in india usb devices same device can run in usa by using these protocols if we are not following these protocols or standards it may uh, we can say that the size of the usb port uh, may vary and even uh, if lenovo or st any laptop they we uh, they are uh, 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 they are bound to use that standards and protocol so that the uh, thing we are using in particular device can run into another devices okay from purchase from anywhere so little devices and little data means arm cortex processor technology we are using devices chips uh, applications big data analytics can be done from here and we are using arm cortex m m means the microcontrollers boards are using we are using the processor here. after that arm embed m and embed we have seen that basically a open source platform which is used in open source platform which is used in arm processor so here you can see that there are a lot of devices smart watches smart tvs smart, smart umbrella smartphones all are connected with the platform so hundred of millions of devices are connected so we can say that it is a web and community based development okay here you can see the uh, more technology arm cortex a a means the application r means the real time m means the microcontroller so these are the arm cortex board we are using it so arm cortex a family applications processors basically is used for applications for rich os rich operating system third party applications we are using arm cortex a family of processor arm cortex r means the real time embedded devices are based on the real time real time means no delay in the system so embedded processor for real time revolved real time signal processing data analytics we are using arm cortex r family for control applications we can use arm cortex m family uh, uh, is enabled for microcontroller oriented processors for microcontroller m means microcontroller microcontroller unit uh, assp means application specific circuits that is application specific means the device which is uh, used uh, uh, manufactured for one application can be dedicated to that application for example uh, washing machine in washing machine we can wash clothes in microwave oven we can um, uh, we can uh, prepare food but microwave oven cannot uh, use for uh, washing of clothes that is the application specific system on chip basically microcontrollers are system on chip all the things are embedded into a one chip so here you can see arm cortex board a micro um, we can use wifi bluetooth cortex sensors cortex or gyroscope sensors application processor a52 a7 a9 cortex a15 uh, uh, control units here okay cortex md processor flash computers cellular modem nfc sensors we are all the devices are enabled on one chip so these are the technology that is used in our iot device so arm cortex a class processors it is used in applications that have high computing requirements so a class processor means application arm cortex board are used uh, in which high computing requirements are there like high computing means where data analytics is high okay uh, it is used in rich operating system deliver interactive media and graphics experience if you are going for a some uh, to uh, use uh, for laptop for uh, gaming purpose you can deploy these types of arm cortex you can use this arm cortex a app class processor so here you can see that uh, this is the uh, performance versus the year so when we are going from the 2011 to uh, to 2022 the performance is increasing functionality will be more so the devices which are used in 2011 uh, like cortex a5 a8 
all have small frequency. So, we can say the um, A5 processor using the 400 to uh, 800 megahertz frequency when we are going towards the cortex A8 frequency increase from 800 to 1 gigahertz and when we are going from the uh, one generation to another, the frequency will increase. Here you can see that uh, Cortex A9 processor using the frequency of 7 megahertz. We are integrated in more devices. Cortex A7 has a 100 megawatt budget architecture alignment. And uh, when we are going from the ARM Cortex A5 to A57, the frequency will increase, number of bits we can handle more, functionality will be increased, performance will be increased, and efficiency will also increase day by day. So, here you can see that miniaturization will be more, more functionality, less cost, low power consumption devices when from we are going from one year to what is the another. So, uh, here little data starts with little devices. Here you can see that the uh, nodes, these are the is capable to provide the data to the servers by using the local processing techniques that is wireless techniques. Here you can do security, communication, discovery, applications, management, data storage and analytics all can do in by in the cloud. So, all the data getting from the uh, nodes that are devices go to the cloud. From in cloud we can use data analytics techniques. So, uh, Bluetooth smart connectivity, Bluetooth low energy. Uh, Bluetooth basically this is a symbol of Bluetooth, it is used to run from coil cells that is 10 megawatt power supply, short range communication we can use only for short range less than 100 meters, these are the small devices. Okay. Here rap, uh, we can see the microcontrollers, radios, uh, microcontrollers we are using rapid and professional IoT development and open source platform libraries. So, libraries are available in the Cortex M microcontrollers, we can use them. Mix and match essential components for your product design like Bluetooth, LoRa, WAN, Wi-Fi, cellular sensors, software tracks, radios. Simplify integration, we can uh, cloud services like embedded agents, API, uh, nano services. So, basically these are the technologies uh, that enable IoT device that are using an IoT system. Protocols and standards we are using billions of things 2G, 3G, 4G. Right now we are go, going towards the 5G trial is going on low power van. So, these are the wireless technology Bluetooth, Zigbee, Thread, Wi Fi, wireless pen, wireless van, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, GSM, uh, glo, uh, okay, CDMA, UMTS, LT, other technology satellite, DSL, fiber, PLC, Sigfox that is used in the European country, long range networks, weightless, NB IoT, narrowband IoT, all are using the, these are the technology of IoT, all is, uh, that can, can enable any internet of things system. Okay. So, thank you everyone for your patience. I hope you have enjoyed my lecture. In next lecture, we will see some more about the IoT. Thank you everyone.